Hello and welcome back to the series on Amazon Bedrock and Titan. And I'm going to show you the Hello World equivalent of invoking Titan on the Bedrock runtime. So let's get started. First things first, we are going to import the Python modules responsible for invoking the LLM. Obviously, they are Bodo3 and JSON. Uh, Bodo3, make sure you have the most recent version updated for the Bedrock client. <clears throat> so once you have that in place, you can go ahead and create the object that, init that is initialized with the Bedrock service. So here we are mentioning the service name, the region, and the endpoint URL. So now we have the client that is pointing to the Bedrock endpoint. So if you are a veteran AWS developer, uh, the first thing that you would do when you install AWS CLI or Bodo3 is to run the AWS EC2 describe regions. If you see all the regions, that means your CLI is perfectly configured. So similarly, the equivalent of EC2 describe regions for Bedrock is list foundation models. So let's go ahead and run that. So this will come back with all the supported foundation models in the target region. So you notice these are exactly the same that we have seen in the previous demo where I have walked you through the console. So this confirms that our client is perfectly configured and we are good to go with the next steps. So with that in place, let's start with the configuration and then the prompt. So typically any LLM would, would need these parameters. So max token count, stop sequence, temperature, top P. And because Bedrock supports a variety of foundation models and every foundation model has its own set of parameters. For example, here we are missing the <clears throat> other parameters that are specific to let's say Claude. So to, to support those, instead of hardwiring them, uh, this is left as a part of the uh, uh, body, the, the uh, JSON payload body that is sent to the API endpoint. Uh, specifically for Titan, these are the expected parameters that will influence your LLM response. But if you are dealing with other foundation models, everything remains the same, but the config might change because of the supported parameters that are specific to the target LLM. So uh, once we define these parameters, Obviously, the next step is to craft our prompt. And I'm going to keep this simple, write a tagline for a bicycle shop. Now with both the configuration and the uh, configuration and the prompt in place, we can now construct the body. So this is going to be responsible for the payload that is sent to the target endpoint. So finally, we go ahead and invoke the model so and and now we are mentioning the model id which is amazon titan tg1 large and the body is the payload that we have constructed here in the previous step so now the invocation is done and we are ready to see the response so let's run this and now the llm comes back with a response that says pedal your way to adventure with our bikes which sounds pretty cool so that's a very quick walkthrough of configuring Bodo3 and invoking it to generate response from the LLM. So this is the Hello World equivalent of Amazon Bedrock and Titan. I hope you found this useful. Stay tuned for my other set of tutorials where we get into the details of retrieval augmented generation or RAG.